Biogen, Isa Alzheimer's drug lecanemab, fast-tracked by the FDA. Biogen and Isa head towards the end of the year with some much-needed good news in their Alzheimer's programs, as the FDA awards a fast-track designation to lecanemab, their follow-up to recently approved Adahelm. The anti-amyloid drug, which also claimed a breakthrough tag from the FDA in July, is being developed for the treatment of early-stage Alzheimer's disease. Biogen and ESA started a rolling submission for lecanemab, formerly banned 2401, with the FDA in September, based on the results of a Phase II trial, study 201, that showed a dose-dependent reduction in amyloid plaques in the brain that are a feature of Alzheimer's, as well as a slowdown in cognitive decline. The two partners are also running a Phase three trial called Clarity AD, with results due next year, as they try to tap into the accelerated approval pathway that allowed Adahelm, a duck and Umab, to claim an FDA approval earlier this year. In a statement, Biogen and ESA said that the FDA has agreed that Clarity AD can serve as the confirmatory study to verify the clinical benefit of lecanemab. They will be hoping that lecanemab will not become mired in the controversy that engulfed Adahelm from the moment it was approved. The first in class therapy has been hit hard by questions about validity of amyloid clearance as a surrogate marker for efficacy in Alzheimer's, data on cognition, and its potential to cause serious side effects, which have held up approvals in Europe and Japan. The $56,000 a year price tag for the drug, which has now been cut in half in the US, also hasn't helped the drug makers make a case for Adahelm with US payers. Biogen and ESA are also running another phase 3 clinical study, AHEAD 3 to 45, which is evaluating intravenous lecanemab in people with preclinical Alzheimer's and elevated amyloid levels. Additionally, ESA has started a phase 1 trial of a subcutaneous formulation of lecanemab that could be suitable for dosing outside clinics. Other amyloid-targeting drugs are also trying to follow Adahelm to market with accelerated approvals, including Eli Lilly's Donanemab and Roche's Gantanumab, which are also expecting key data readouts in 2022. What did you think of this article? Are you happy or cautious of the FDA awarding a fast-track designation? Does the $56,000 a year price tag affect the value of the drug on society? Leave a comment and share your thoughts.